Okay, it is Billy Ray Bates at the Motor City Comic Con talking to Ms. Dawn Wells, star of Gilligan's Island. We all know and love her as Mary Ann. Are you having a good show so far? Oh, I am, and it's so nice to meet all the fans. This is really a cool motor... Motor Con, is that what's called? Comic Con. Motor they City do it all over, the, all over the country, but this is the best one, I think. How many of these shows do you do a year, usually? Oh, one or two, if I'm free and not doing something. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to know, first of all, all about this book. Can I grab this book? Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> what would Mary Ann do? I love Good this. Good question. Yes, let's hear about the book. Well, because she was your favorite. I think Mary Ann was, she'd have been your best friend if you would have been a neighbor or a sister. Mm -hmm. She would have been your buddy. She was not high maintenance. She was dependable, had a moral compass. She was sort of the nucleus of the show, I think. The moral compass of it all. Okay. And I, and I really got, I really wrote it because of the fans. You'll see all these people here in their 40s that I raised and and they talk about why they loved the character Marianne and there's something there because she was stable she was sensible she was had a work ethic and I thought you know if you were raising a 13 or 14 year old daughter today it's tough it's tough with the Kardashians and the Miley Cyrus on the piano and the $500 purses where are the values and it's not hard I was raised by a Marianne mother uh, what's wrong with being second in line? What's wrong with holding the door open for an older woman? What's wrong with failing and then failing and failing till you finally get it right? And it's it's very it's 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 very light reading. There's some wonderful pictures in it. Cool. A little quizzes at the end where you're too tired, too rude, too the terrible twos. And and I talk about the little brain and the big brain. The little brain says, Oh yes, I think I'll have that third drink. And the big brain says, Wait a minute. What's the consequences? Uh, and you do yeah. react with your big brain and your little brain and stop and think about it a little bit. Impulse. Yeah. You know? So I yeah. think I, I, I'm very, very proud of this. It's a very good book. Okay. Well, that is very cool. What else do you have going on right now? It seems like a moment ago you mentioned a pilot. Yes, I did a pilot for a series. I don't know where it will ever go. I played kind of a, a mother-in-law and uh, kind of in charge of a bar, kind of like Cheers, oh. kind of great comedy. I don't know whether it's going to sell or not. Okay. And I'm going into uh, Love, Loss, and What I Wore. I did the play several times in the last couple of years. I'm going to do that in Laguna Playhouse. I've been asked to do, like, I got Steel Magnolias. Uh, I did uh, Lion in Winter. Okay. And I just have decided I'd like to do Gin Game. Ed Asner and I have done a couple personal appearances, and he's kind of irascible. And I said, this would be a really good play for the two of us. So I'm always looking at something, a new project. You know? Cool. Now, as far as the pilot, is it drama? Is it comedy? What can you tell us about it? It's comedy, and it's called Life Interrupted, and it's very edgy. Uh, my daughter uh, it was married and had a child and divorced and marries a woman. Okay. Michelle Michael Leonard plays her mother, and oh, I play Allison Angram's mother. Michael Leonard. Yeah. Wow. I haven't heard from her in a long time. Yeah. So it's it's very it's it's very edgy and it's funny. I don't know what network what they think of when they buy something. So I don't know. We'll see. I had a good time. It was a different. It was not a Marianne character. <laughs> Little edgy. Little edgy. Marianne showing some range. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank goodness. <laughs> Now, let's talk Gilligan for a moment. Um, we were just talking a moment ago that it's hard to believe that the show is only three seasons because it has lasted. It just, and as you mentioned, it's never gone off the air. No, I mean, and, and we had 98 episodes, which is oh, like a five-year wow. run today because they're lucky if you get 15 shows a, a year. We did 39 uh, a year. And is there no clothes that tell you what's fashionable? There are no cars, no 64 Chevrolet in the driveway. So it could happen to any. It's Robinson Crusoe. You yeah. know, everybody has that fantasy about could we survive on an island? <laughs> and actually, speaking of clothing, that was one question I wanted to ask you. Do you have any of your Marianne outfits? I have my shorts. You have your shorts. The what shorts about and like a little a, you top? wore swimsuits now and then? No, not very much. It one bathing suit, but I was the first short shorts on television. They weren't allowed to. Before Daisy Dukes. Yes. yes. And you couldn't show my navel. And Ooh. I designed them. 
because I'd have it come up a little bit to cover the navel and then I'd dip down on the side so my torso would look longer <laughs> and then I dipped them up on the edges so my legs would look longer. <laughs> now that is tricky. That's is. smart. Because I was short. <laughs> Tina was six feet tall so I had to look as tall as I could. Wow, okay. And of course that um, that sort of red checkered halter top type thing, I think Marianne pioneered that. Gingham and the ponytails. Fashion. Yeah. But I wore those ponytails as a kid. I wore those when I was in high school. Ponytails were your idea for the yep. show? Yep, and so was the gingham, both. I insisted uh, on both of it. Yeah. yeah. That was the character. Such a signature look. Yeah, yes. and that's who she was, yeah. you know? Okay, so cool. Um, so you have a Facebook page, I know. Let's go ahead and promote that. Facebook.com slash The Real Mary Ann. You know, they say questions, is this The Real Mary Ann? Yes. <laughs> Are you really The Real Mary Ann? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Facebook is cool. I had a gentleman here today that said, I saw your, uh, that you were going to be here, and I drove all the way from New Hampshire. Oh, wow. To Detroit. Wow. Isn't that something? That is very cool. And I also understand, I read this on the internet, so it's not necessarily true, but you can confirm for me, nickname Pooter. Oh, and I don't know where that came from. Oh, my god. I goodness. did a play. It's a total lie. It's a total lie. And it's a total <laughs> lie that I made a million dollars on the reruns. I didn't make any money on the reruns. Yeah, None I read about did. that. Yes. Too. Yes, and it's Do incredible. not believe what you read on the internet, people. I know it's really something. <laughs> and you can't take it back. Whoever wrote it can't say I made a mistake. I don't yeah, know. it's frozen forever on some page somewhere. I'll say. So, <laughs> what do you think is your most rewarding work in your life so far? Um, in front of the camera, behind the camera, you know, whatever that you've done. What do you feel most proud of? That's a tough one because I. That's a tough one. Uh, I worked with the Children's Miracle Network Hospital in Missouri for 15 years, co-produced and co-hosted it. Uh, watched surgery watch facial cranial surgery, watch a hip replacement, stayed hours in the neonatal unit. I kind of wanted to be a pediatrician when I was younger and I, I, I'm saying what am I doing with my life when I see what's going on in the hospital. That was extremely rewarding to me. Uh, I ran a film actors boot camp up in Idaho, not teaching you how to act. You come to me with your talent, I'll show you how to get the job, which I think is it, missing. You don't know. What's your type? Where do you fit? Should you be a blonde? Should you be a brunette? Are you a character actor? Do you read your contracts? What does agents mean? You know, teaching that for quite a while. I took care of my mother until she died at 94, which I, she took care of me alone, so I feel that was something I was proud of. I helped raise some, some children, um, not mine, but I don't know, I'm pretty proud of my life. I'm, I'm grateful for everything that's happened to me and blessed that I can do something that I love to do, and I'm not ready to quit. <laughs> Great, you shouldn't. No. Okay, well, thank you so much You're for talking to us. <laughs> We've hung out quite a while today. Huh? Yeah. <laughs>